everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sevim. I'm practicing AVS and everything technology. And today I'm going to show you how to create a static website with a Canva template. So you have your Canva design and it's all pretty and nice and you want to make it public. You want to share it. You want to make it seem like a website. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now you are in your Canva design and we need the HTML code of this design. So you are not going to just download it as we used to be, we do all the time with different formats, but we need HTML files. So we'll go back and click more. And here you will see embed. So it's also in files, you can find it, but I'm going to use this link now. So here you see HTML embed code, copy this code, and now we are going to go and open a notepad, a new notepad and paste this code here. So let's save this file as uh, index.html, index.html. Here and save. Now we are going to log into AVS console, avs.amazon.com and let's go to S3. Now we need to create a bucket and put our file in our bucket. Let's create a new bucket. This will be my Canva page. I'm going to remove the public access block and acknowledge that current settings result in this bucket being up public. So bucket versioning, I'm not going to enable that and let's create the bucket. Doesn't want the upper cases, so let's make them my Canva page little and go create the bucket now let's go to bucket and put our file inside let's upload our index file add file it's going to be index html let's upload we can now see that we have in our buckets we have my Canva page and inside this bucket we have index HTML file that we just created. And now let's go to properties, go down, down and you see the static website hosting, go and edit, enable hosting, redirect request for an, let's say host a static website. And this is going to be the name of our index file, which is in index.html. We don't need error document, but if you created one, you can use that one as well and save changes. Now that this one is set, let's go to permissions. We already blocked, opened all public access. And now we need to create a bucket policy. Let's go to policy generator, select the service, it's S3 bucket policy. We are going to allow, I'm going to leave that and get object. We need to get object from S3 bucket. get object and ARAN number is just here bucket ARAN this is this is going to be passed here we need one or more principles principles will be all so it's going to be just a star from all public and let's create a statement and generate policy. 
so this is what we need copy that and go back to bucket policy and past let's save the changes i receive an error let's check what it is get object Aaron, this one is forgotten. Let's write that here. Just a slash and a star. Okay, let's try now. And it's created. Objects can be public. Let's go to buckets now. Let's see our public access. We had that static, static access and here our page is working with all the links inside is ready for public use. These are the links which are also working, diverting where it needs to go. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next tutorial in my next video. See you soon. Bye. Like holy, you